Welcome to Greg Ellis TV. This video is sponsored by Chargy. And what is Chargy? Chargy is a app hardware solution that limits how much your phone can charge by way of extending the battery life of it. It's a really, really cool solution and I wanna show it to you. First up, we have the Chargy C Basic. It will be USB-C on both sides. It has the latest PD or power delivery built into it and it's very small and you can put it pretty much anywhere. Next we got the Chargy A which is a traditional USB-A socket on both sides. You have the female end and the male and you, if you have a USB charger, traditional USB charger, this will work great with that. You can see on the back of both of these, it tells you where to plug it in, in and out. So making sure you plug it into the right spot is always a easy task. And then on the iOS store and or Android Play Store, all you're gonna do is go on to there and download the Chargy app. Make sure you have the Chargy plugged into your phone and just hit next, allow, and you'll be all set and ready to use the Chargy hardware and Chargy app. This is the app right here. And you know, it might look like it has a lot of stuff, but it's very straightforward with it. So right here, this is just charging right now. I can limit this charging. You can see I can pull this down. I can have it charge only to 15% if I wanted to. I don't know why you'd want that, but you could really, the, the sweet spot for this stuff is like 50 to 80%, somewhere in that range. I mean, 85 is probably fine too, but Ultimately, you can just ch change it right here with just sliding or pressing these pluses and minuses. You can see charging to 85%, it's gonna take 58 minutes. Data will pass through while ch charging is paused. This is the temperature, if I tap on this, temperature threshold allows you to set the maximum allowed temperature for your device. When this temperature is exceeded, the charging process will be halted to prevent overheating. Recommend values 30 to 40, temperature threshold 140 degrees. So I'm in Fahrenheit, so I can lower that. So I can make sure that, you know, like, hey, I wanna make sure this isn't going to charge my phone. If, it, if the phone's 125 degrees Fahrenheit, it will stop all of that. And then just hit save right there and I'll be good to go. That way, you know, I'm not worried about this phone overheating while it's charging. You get so much control over this. Next is the wattage. See how charging goes from zero to 100%, why power stats matter. So you can get all this information right here by checking uh, the different things and what the temperatures were and the battery voltages and the charging duration and all of that. Next up is the 100%, you can see right here. This is the charging schedule. So when you have this set up, you can see by setting a charging deadline, you can ensure that your phone will reach your desired battery. So maybe I want it to be 100%. I can set that, or maybe I don't. You just tap right here, tap on the day you want. And for me, I wake up at 6 a.m. every day and I can change how much I want. Maybe I want the battery life to be 85%, or just do 80%, and it stops at that. Overnight charging level, 60%. I can set it for the entire week or each individual day. I can hit okay. And now every day at 6 a.m., every day a week, it's gonna be 80% for me. Or maybe you want it to be 100. And if you do it to 100, what's great about this is it's gonna make sure that your phone doesn't just charge to 100 and it stays at that. At that. It's gonna make sure it gets to 100, 100% by 6 a.m. or whatever time you set. When you're done, you just hit close. So it's really nice having that scheduler in there too. Hardware limiter, you can see, this is how much power is drawn from your charger at each percentage point, and it tells you. You can do a low power cutoff. Just drag that to the left or to the right. Power remeasure interval every hour or reset to factory default. So really cool stuff in here to be able to control and look at that. You have a manual switch in here if you want with the Chargy, uh, allowing it to be and act as a Bluetooth controlled switch for various USB devices. Uh, but if you have it active, Chargy's limiting feature will be disabled. So just keep that in mind. Next up, we got the pass-through feature. So you can turn that on and off right there if you wanna pass through uh, data to like your computer or some other device, but also use Chargy. Next up is you can see which device I'm connected to, which is the Chargy C Basic. And I can connect on that. And you can see it says connected. It tells me the hardware version, all that stuff. 
battery health alpha. It tells me the capacity of my battery. It tells me the estimated full capacity. It tells me the current charge amount calculated, how much degradation I have. You can exit the app, you can disconnect, or you can even go to settings. If you go into settings, you can see you can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, blip power before charging, which means it's going to only use this if your phone doesn't accept power after discharging. Android Auto will reconnect immediately after the blip. So you can turn that on or off. Completely dark mode. So you have these LED lights right here. I can turn that on and you can see it turns those lights off. So like at night, maybe I don't want to see that. So it's really cool that it gives you that option. Connect when not charging. We'll scan every five minutes and test the charging. It sees even if the phone is not charging. Turn that on or off. Auto connect strongest device. Only connect to previous devices. So a lot of cool things in here that you can set for yourself within the app. And again, you saw how easy it is to use and set up. Here's the iPhone version of the app and I can change the and swipe through the chargey how much I want it to charge or hit the plus sign or my sign. You can click on normal and set the battery temperature. So if I'm concerned with that. At the bottom, it's a little bit of a different interface. So that's why it looks different here. Um, you can come in here and choose the hardware limiter and enable it or inactive. Set the retry times, power injector, cutoff threshold. This is where you would set the scheduler. So I would uh, turn the scheduler on, go here, and I'm like, you know what, I want it to be the same thing. 6 a.m. Top up, base level, set for entire week, and set, and there I go. So it works with iPhone and Android. And the Charger Gold works exactly the same way. You can see you have your in and your out on the back. So I would plug this into the charger and then this would be the out, meaning it would plug directly into the phone. So you can see all the reasons why Chargy is so good and easy to use from being able to just plug this in directly to your phone using the app, which again is really simple and easy, but really in depth to use at the same time. People are keeping their phones for longer and longer periods of time and you don't wanna to have to pay the cost of replacing your battery when you can just save the battery life by limiting how much it will charge. Now I know there's gonna be people out there that say that their phone already comes with overcharging protection solution, but Chargy's better, why? Over temperature throttling, manually configurable charging schedulers for each day of the week, lower charge limits than the fixed ones that Samsung and Apple provide, hardware limiters, power stats, and much more. Also, if you're an environmentalist, this is a great solution. Every little bit helps because you're limiting the amount that your phone is having to charge. It's going to reduce the amount of carbon emissions that are produced by you charging. And again, yours is just gonna be a small amount, but think of that on a larger scale of everybody using Chargy. So if you wanna pick Chargy up, it is linked down below. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.